Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome back to Tag Tuesday. For this Tag Tuesday, I am going to be doing the Springathon Scavenger Hunt Challenge. I was tagged to do this, or challenged to do this, by Heidi over at My Reading Life, and she linked to a channel from a booktuber named Emma who did the video as well. I don't know if Emma was the creator of this or not, but it seemed kind of like fun, and it is, you know, well outside my comfort zone uh, in that I'm not sitting in my normal spot. Uh, I'm going to be up moving around, which is a little scary. Uh, also, I have not prepared for this. Uh, I watched Heidi's video and she said that Emma didn't prepare and that Heidi didn't prepare. So I'm going to essentially be looking for books that fit this prompt, the, the prompts in this tag, without having any idea what the prompts are. And so, depending on how long it takes me, you might have see some footage of me fast forwarding through things uh, so that <laughs> we don't spend all day, uh, you don't just have to spend all day watching this tag. Anyway, here we go. So, prompt number one, a book about weather. A book about weather. Okay, so my book about metal are going to be any... My books about weather are going to be any books by Patrick O'Brien. These are... Uh, you know, part of the Aubrey Matchman series, which I'm sure you're hard to turn me tired of hearing me talk about, but I couldn't think of anything else that had anything to do with weather. Uh, and since these are set on sailing ships, weather, wind, uh, all kinds of atmospheric and barometric conditions uh, factor into these books. So I went with uh, the Aubrey Matchman series of novels. I could have also picked, I just realized, uh, Wuthering Heights. Uh, it's not about weather, but I think weather... Uh, plays a, a relatively large part in Wuthering Heights as well. So, let's see. Prompt number two, bees or butterflies on the cover. Wow. Bees or butterflies on the cover. Butterfly on the cover. Uh, my uh, The stories of Vladimir Nabokov. I don't know if you can see it. This is the outline uh, of a butterfly there. So there you go. Whew, there's my book with Butterfly on the cover. Number three, a book about your home or homes in general. Okay, I'm going to go with William Trevor's uh, novel, uh, The Boarding House. Not a William Trevor novel I've read. I noticed that Bob the Booker did a really great video about William Trevor and his relationship and his shortlisting for the Book 2 Prize uh, several times. But uh, Boarding House, that's like a home, so I'm going to use that as the answer for that prompt. Prompt number four, a book about dirt or soil. A book about dirt or soil. Well... Wow. So I'm going to go with A Thousand Acres by Jane Smiley because this is about farming, uh, about a big farm, and it involves farming. So I'm going to make that my book about dirt or soil. If you're getting the impression that I don't have a lot of books about nature, you'd be right. And I'm just really discovering that now. Oh, wow, why didn't I choose this one? I should have cho chosen Underland by Robert McFarlane. That would be a great choice because there's a lot of dirt in this book and soil and other things. Prompt five, water on the cover. Well, that should be relatively easy, shouldn't it? Well, I can use any of the Aubrey Matron novels because those all have water on the cover. But it won't cop out. I'll go with uh, The Viking Wars by Max Adams. Nice bit of uh, ocean there with a cool Viking ship out there. So I'm going to go with Ocean Wars by uh, Viking Wars. Ocean Wars, my goodness. I'm going to go with Viking Wars by Max Adams. Prompt number six, Bird on the Cover. Bird on the Cover. 
I want to show, do I want to show my dog chewed copy of uh, the complete short stories of Flannery O'Connor again? That would be the fastest one because it's right, right there. Definitely, can definitely do that. Or do I want to think of a different one? Hmm, bird on the cover. I don't know why I'm looking at my non-fiction shelf so much and not looking at my fiction, but I guess I just have a feeling, since this is kind of supposed to be a, a nature thing, that I'm more likely to find uh, the, uh, the books over here, even though... Have I pulled out a non-fiction book <laughs> yet? Um, let's see. Bird on the cover. Hmm. Well, okay. So this is my incredible. Uh, this is my incredibly dog chewed copy of Flannery O'Connor's uh, collection of short stories. The one I still use. You'll notice there is a peacock right there. Flannery O'Connor uh, kept peacocks at her home uh, in Georgia. So there you go. That's my book with a bird on the cover. Prompt seven: Footprint on the cover. A book with a footprint on the cover. This is going to be a stumper. Book with a footprint on the cover. <laughs> I have a book with the word footsteps on the cover, but not footprints. A footprint All right, so I can't find a book with a footprint, so I just went with a book with a foot. I remember to have this incredibly, and I'll cover up the offending part, it's incredibly grotesque <laughs> cover uh, on the co on top of cancer of this uh, kind of disturbing guy. He's naked, and you can see his bare feet, and he's bound to have footprints under that. So there you go. That was, that was a tough one. Uh, prompt eight, a book about travel or migration. This is a book called uh, The Promised Land, The Great Migration, and How It Changed America, about the great migration of African Americans from the South to the North and the Midwest uh, and to the West. Uh, so this book counts because it is definitely about migration of people. Uh, let's see. Number nine, an author with nature in their surname. Nature in their surname. I have one of those. So this uh, small edition of the American Revolution, a history by Gordon S. Wood. Wood, that's nature. And prompt 10, prehistoric element on the cover. What I wouldn't give for a copy of Jurassic Park right now. <laughs> Okay, well, that completely stumped me. So all I have is this kind of uh, graphic representation of a black hole uh, on Stephen Hawking's The Universe in a Nutshell. <laughs> black holes are definitely prehistoric. So there you go. <laughs> there is the uh, Springathon scavenger hunt uh, tag video. I'm not going to tag anybody to do this because I know not everybody's comfortable uh, doing these kinds of tags. I did have a lot of fun. Uh, I think I failed completely. Look forward to your comments in the comment section below, and as always, thank you for watching.